Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Strawberry and today I'm going to be sharing some K-pop opinions that might get me cancelled because I have nothing else to do. Okay let's go. YG had nothing to do with Yidem and Mashiro leaving. All K-pop stan myself included love to make companies the devil of all our problems like members leaving, line distribution and anything we feel like. Honestly but I can't say why G did this he might be awful at managing Blackpink but getting rid of some of the most talented idols in his rising rookie group seems like a bit much. Watching YG Treasure Box in episode 1 YG talked about all the idols he missed out from who became some of the biggest idols in the industry and Treasure was not going to be the same so you think he would just kick the two most popular members out I don't think so. Born Pink Tour was trash. Blinks if you can't admit it and are pissed I said this then I'm sorry but you're delusional. This is a group who have been inactive for two years so they hold their tired excuses shit. There are groups who had three comebacks and a tour this year examples Stray Kids, and Hippin, Itzy and I think Seventeen and not one of these groups trended for not putting in effort, lip syncing and etc. The members just weren't trying and they should have done better they had six new songs and only three had choreo. They did little to no promotions and everything they released was extremely expensive this comeback was to keep links around on DZ money for YG the moment we start holding them accountable and stop heating up every little effort thing they do is when they will actually start to try. 4th gen are being hella overworked. It's normal for K-pop groups to have at least 1 to 2 comebacks a year but companies are on crack and releasing song after song. Example 1 Etsy started their year with a Japanese single album Voltage and then sometime in the spring released their mini album Checkmate, then another Japanese, come back in October, then an English pre-release and now another mini album. If you count we have two Japanese comebacks, two mini albums and a pre-release and all about five comebacks all in the span of four to six months that's insane. All had music videos so that about 4 to 7 hours for about a week of recording and then promotions and etc. So day after day there is little rest and idols diet while they have come back all that stress on top of a world tour. Example 2 in Hippin, they started the year with their repackaged album that included two new songs. Then in May they released a Japanese single with an MV in July they released their mini album Manifesto which had an MV, promotions and a world tour. Then two OSTs and now a full Japanese album with 9 songs and a music video that 5 comebacks and world tour members were getting sick left and right and Song Hoon fainted at the airport. As much as it's E and in Hippin are my favorite this is concerning. 3rd Gen are disappearing. Name 3rd Gen groups who had comebacks this year and that were actually successful outside just the fandom I'm talking charts and sales I stand a few 3rd Gen groups but let's be honest the only group left are. 17, Twice, Blackpink, BTS and Red Velvet I'm sure I'll get hate for this but I'm a multi stan if you watched my stan list video I like fully follow 20 plus groups and I mean like album collecting, streaming and all and those 5 groups are the only ones who are nominated and made any impact on 2022 K-pop. It's tiring watching BTS win all awards. Call me jealous that my faves aren't thriving or whatever but my second ult were charting for months sold about 6 million albums this year and more so no I'm secure in my belief that my faves are successful. And also I'm not trying to bring down BTS because they're so hardworking their music is really good but I can't say every award they were nominated for this year should go to them example song of the year they were nominated with yet to come but songs like Love Dive, Tomboy, Attention and Polaroid Love were nominated you can't tell me that honestly BTS yet to come was anywhere as trending and popular as the songs that topped charts and broke records. BTS deserve many things but that doesn't mean because they're popular that every award they're nominated for should go to them. New Jean are not more successful than I've. Disclaimer, I don't hate New Jeans and they're in my top 6 stand list but looking at awards, streams and sales you can't say they topped I've. They're unique yes and do I like hype boy and attention more than 11 hell yes but you have to be realistic new jeans sold 262,800 copies of their debut album in a day while I've sold about 200,000 more there's being 432,821. I've had 9,847,000 views with their debut in the first 24 hours and now the video has a total of 166 million views while New Jeans had 1.3 million and their view total is 32 million. I've got 13 music show wins at debut and New Jeans have 5.
Again no hate and I only calculated their debut to be fair but you can't say that a debut new gen is surpassed I've their popularity grew and their songs charted but not as much as I've. Okay that's it, I hope no one is really offended but I apologize if so. Please hit that like and subscribe button this is Strawberry signing off.